Hey, good morning, everyone. I am super excited. Jesse Dale here with Macro Missioner. I'm really excited to share this with you. I think this can be extraordinarily impactful for you as it was for me. So let's just dive right in. How to control your cravings, okay? There's pretty much three ways, and you know, you can say cravings, you can also insert the word bullies, all right? I'll tell you a very brief story. As a kid, um, there was this group of people and that we'd ride our bikes around the block and, and they would they would bully me. I, I have no idea why, okay? And step one is I just tried to avoid them. That's what we try to do with cravings, right? We take the avoidance approach and I was faster than them, so it worked. They would come riding around, I'd run away and I'd always get away, okay, no problem. So that's the first thing you can do. So if you're craving alcohol, you can just avoid alcohol. If you're craving sweets, you can go into your, your, your kitchen and get rid of all the sweets, okay? And uh, not attend events where there's going to be alcohol, not attend events where there's going to be negative people, not attend events where there's going to be sweets. So avoidance would be step one. I, I want to erase that one, okay? Because here is step two. Okay, so step one, avoidance, that's what I did with these bullies. I just ran from them, all right? Then step two is confronting, okay? Instead of avoiding, instead of saying, alcohol, you're, I'm not gonna go where you are, you have control. Alcohol, I'm not gonna, I'm gonna get rid of you from my house, even though I have people over that, that, that you don't have control of that may enjoy you once in a while. Food, I'm just not gonna go where you are. Well, here's the thing is the bully is always gonna show up somewhere. You know what I'm saying? So confronting, get in the ring. And in order to confront, you gotta prepare. You can't just say, all right, I'm gonna confront sweets today, all right? First, define your standard. Say, hey, look, this is my standard that I'm setting for myself. This is the life that I want to live, okay? And then recognize what's challenging that standard and think of it that way. Food isn't tempting you. It's challenging a standard you set for yourself, okay? That bottle of gin is challenging one of your standards. That will help motivate you to get it. I, someone's challenge is one of my standards. I want to now get in the ring. I don't want to run anymore, okay? So if you think of it that way, the, 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 the cravings are challenging your standards. So confront them. Get in the ring. You know they're going to happen and get in the ring with them. Okay, get in the ring with food and knock it on its butt. Knock it on its butt, okay? Not today, food. You're challenging my standards. It's not going to happen, okay? Same thing with, uh, with alcohol. Get, you already got in the ring with food. If it's alcohol, get in, the, get in the cage. Get in the fighting cage with alcohol, okay? Confront it and, and choke hold it. Say, you know what? I am going to go two weeks, two months, whatever it might be, just to show who's boss in this relationship and I'm not gonna allow this to challenge my standards anymore. I'm not gonna do it. If it's people that are challenging your standards, okay, which, which happens a lot, I'll oh, just come have a drink with me, I'll oh, come grab this with me, okay, or sometimes it has nothing to do with food, they're just challenging your standards, you know, period. Confront them, don't avoid, you know, you avoid them, you know, that, that's an approach, okay? But confront them, empower yourself. Now here is the magical thing that happens when after we've knocked down alcohol, after we've knocked it down, it's flat on its butt. It's like, oh my gosh, I don't have this power anymore over you. After we have chokeholded food, okay? Or our cravings for sweets, Okay, after you've confronted that, that negative person or that, um, that person that continuously challenges your, your standards. The third step is then make peace with them. Make peace with them. So in the back to my bully situation, at one time I confronted the bullies. No fight ensued, but I confronted them. Okay, and they talked a game. I sat, you know, and, and it, it was all over, okay? Uh, but then third is make peace with them, okay? So after you've knocked, okay, assuming that there's, you don't have an addiction or things of that nature, because if you have an addiction or what, something along that nature, you need to keep it knocked out and keep it, you know, out of the ring. Uh, but anyway, if there's not an addiction, if it's just these cravings that have ownership over you, 
then you can make peace with them. Then you can say, you know what, alcohol, I'm going to go on a date with you this Friday because I'm in control and it knows you're in control and it's not going to tempt you beyond. Okay. You're going to fit it in to say your macronutrient distribution and say, guess what? Now that I've avoided you alcohol, I've confronted you, I've knocked you out. Now I'm going to make peace with you and I'm going to have a date with you and I'm going to share a few drinks this Friday night with you. Fit into my macronutrients. Okay. Same thing with food. Okay. Maybe to show food who's boss, you do give up sweets for, for 30 days just to show who's boss. Then after that, you say, you know what, food? You're not so bad after all, sweets. You're not so bad after all. You, you kind of control me for a while there, but you know, you know I'm boss now. So you say, you know what? I'm going to fit in some sweets. I'm going to fit in some time with sweets into my macronutrient distribution so we're still hitting our goals. No problem. This Saturday night, sweets, you and me, we're, we're, we're going to do this, okay? And it knows who's boss. You know who's boss. And you guys are at peace with one another. Same thing with, uh, with people. There is uh, someone who I just would avoid um, for a while. And I did the confrontation. Okay. And now we are at peace, man. And this, this person's cool. This person's cool. I mean, I might not see them like every day or whatnot. But when we do, we have a great time. Okay. But I had to quit running from them. I had to confront and stand up for myself because they challenged my standards and now we're at peace, okay? So let's make this the top two things you can go. Stop running. Stop running from your cravings because they're going to show up everywhere. Yeah, you can move out of state from the bully and a new bully is going to show up, right? Okay, so stop running today. Define your standards. Write it down. This is my standard for myself. I want to lose 20 pounds. That's my standard. I'm not, I'm not living up to my standards right now. And these, the, these calories are threatening my standards. This alcohol is threatening my standards. This person is threatening my standards. And I am going to respectfully and politely confront them and make this happen. And then after you've done that, I think nine out of 10 times, you can be at peace. You can be at peace with them. So I would just say the top two steps to confront because they're not going anywhere. Okay, get in the ring and show them who's boss. You are strong. You are powerful. You can absolutely do it. Yes, it will be hard. And you know what? It might be more than one fight. You might get in the ring with sweets because those cravings are coming. And you think, what happens if I eat this? Oh, 30 minutes from now, I'm going to feel horrible. But I just really want it now. Maybe the cravings gets a good couple punches in you. They sucker punch you. Okay, that's what these things do. That's what alcohol does. It sucker punches you. It comes back from when, you, when you're not even looking. That's okay. Maybe they win a couple battles. But at least you're in the ring and you're out of that avoidance stage. You're not running from them anymore, right? Okay, you're in the ring fighting the fight. And eventually you're going to win the war. Guarantee. Because you've got to take that mentality. They are threatening my standards and nobody messes with your standards. You're too strong for that. All right. Then once again, once you do that, you'll be at peace. All right. Hey, hopefully this is helpful. That hopefully this takes ownership and control over your cravings, whatever cravings that might be. You are the boss. Nobody touches your standards. Those are your standards that you set for yourself and your life. No one messes with them unless they want to get in the ring with you. And even if they win one or two bouts, they're going to have to get in the ring with you every single day until they're just like, man, I don't want to be beaten black and blue anymore. This person is tenacious. Uh, even though I keep winning these fights, I don't want to fight this person anymore. And then once you've done that, you've taken ownership. They quit showing up to the flagpole at three o'clock, you know, the bully. Uh, and you can then become peace with them. All right, rock on. Have a great Thursday.